know, we figured the intro for this one could just speak for itself. When you think of Aston Martin, what probably comes to mind? James Bond, right? Then is the 2015 Aston Martin Rapide asks what Bond would drive after he grows up and finally retires? With a starting MSRP of $203,295, something tells me Bond had better start saving up soon. But that raises the ultimate question, is this four-door Aston worth the price? Do you get that much exclusivity, or is it just all looks? Well, for starters, take a look at this color. It's divine red, and it's new for 2015. Also improved is the rear deck lid design, which now looks even sportier and more aggressive. But the 2015 Rapide's changes are so much more than skin deep, and they start, ironically, with the 6-liter, naturally aspirated Mammoth V12 lurking under the hood. It's hand-built, along with much of the rest of the car. To get a little more in-depth about the changes to the engine especially, let's listen to what John Caress, Chief Program Engineer for Aston Martin, had to say main change was uh, 6 litre naturally aspirated V12s in both of them, uh, technical update to 552 brake horsepower on Rapide and 568 brake horsepower, a small increase uh, on Vanquish, both resulted in over 200 miles an hour. That's 200 plus miles an hour in a car that has four doors and weighs north of 4,300 pounds. None of that would ultimately matter if you didn't feel like royalty sitting inside, and this one is kind of a mixed bag. There's definitely plenty of legroom for front seat occupants, and the driver's seat is actually really comfortable. What I don't care for, though, is the fact that the center console looks quite a bit antiquated. The stitching is nice, and the gloss back trim is cool, but the radio display is incredibly small, and the rest of it just looks a little bit too downmarket. Still, it's a great place to spend your time, and you can tell that a lot of thought and detail was put on how things were put together. And let's face it, the biggest kicker is the fact that this Aston Martin has four doors, and it actually has a back seat that works fairly well if you move the front seats up enough. The back seats were meant to be like the fronts, in a sense that the back seat passengers shouldn't feel like they're penalized. They have the same contouring, the same comfort, and a lot of the same controls and amenities that the people who are riding in the front of the car do. It can lend to a bit of a claustrophobic feeling in and of itself, but hey, if I were sitting in the back of an Aston Martin Rapide, I'd be fine with it. We've also done some exterior changes to, to broaden the appeal in terms of wheel finishes, wheel styles, bespokeness in terms of quilting on the interior of the, um, the interior of uh, Rappi in particular. Utility is pretty decent too, and although it's kind of difficult to fit one or more sets of golf clubs back here, the interesting thing is you can flip that top divider down, despite the fact that the back seats don't fold, to make a decent amount of room for at least a weekend getaway for a family of four. So all together then, is the 2015 Aston Martin Rapide S worth its $203,000 price of entry? Well, it depends on what you're looking for. If you want super high levels of exclusivity and love the sound and feel of a V12 engine, it's definitely your cup of tea. But dynamically, unfortunately, the changes don't add up to a car that feels as good as, say, a Panamera Turbo or Panamera Turbo S Executive. So my money, I feel, would best be spent on those. Still, though, it feels like Aston is definitely headed in the right direction, and nothing can ever replace the sound of a V12 inside of a tunnel quite like this. Yeah.